We are getting late breaking information right now out of Putnam County this noon. We have confirmed that there's a search underway right now for little Haley Cummings. She's the six year old who disappeared from her home in Putnam County more than a year ago. We want to go straight to Action News. Alyssa Trussell on the phone for the very latest on what's happening out there. Alyssa. Well, Don, right now the Putnam County Sheriff's Office is searching in the Satsuma area for information in the Haley Cummings case. All detectives are saying is they are following up on a lead. Investigators are keeping the location, at least they're trying to keep the location where they are confidential because they say they don't want onlookers. But our sources have tipped us off, and so we have found that area. And right now we are being kept about a half a mile back. Now, detectives are also keeping private who provided the tip to them and what the evidence is that they are searching for. We have learned from the family that this area is near water. The family has been to the area to check it out for themselves. And we've learned that there are dive teams from several agencies that are on hand right now searching for evidence in this case. Of course, you can count on Action News to cover every angle of this story and bring you much more information coming up all new at 5 tonight. Reporting on the phone in Satsuma, Alyssa Trussell, Action News. And we have more team coverage right now. Behind the massive police search going on at this hour in Satsuma, there's a family waiting for answers. Haley's family has waited for more than a year for any word on where the six-year-old could possibly be. Action News' Matt Safer has already been on the phone with the family at length today. And Matt, you spoke with Haley's, what, great-grandmother, right. grandmother. They were told about the search, and they've been asked to leave the search area. They have, Dawn, and, and that's right. You know, much of what I'm about to tell you is coming straight from Haley's family. And in fact, while I was on the phone with Haley's great-grandmother, one of the chief investigators was at her home speaking with her, and they told her flat out, stay away from the scene as to not contaminate anything. Now, again, much of everything I'm going to say to you right now, this is all from Haley's family. And first of all, they really want to keep the hope alive. They tell me they don't want to believe something will be found in this area that's being searched, but the possibility is there. Now, Haley's family tells me they went down to this search area yesterday. They say they were there when crews poured down on the scene and asked them to leave. They tell me the area being searched is a result of a tip that came into the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. Now, Annette Sykes is Haley's great-grandmother, and she tells me the scene that they're searching out there in Satsuma is massive. She says they have parts of the road closed off, and several different dive crews are out searching a body of water in the area of Satsuma. Now, possibly one of the biggest inklings that this may be more than just a routine search, Action News has confirmed the Putnam County Sheriff's Office has asked Haley's parents to join them inside the Putnam County Sheriff's Office this afternoon. Now, we've been told both Crystal Sheffield, who is Haley's mother, and Ronald Cummings, who is Haley's father, will meet with investigators. Crystal's been asked to drive from her home in Glen St. Mary, and of course, Ronald is in jail on unrelated drug charges. Now again, Haley's grandmother, Teresa Neves, tells me they're really just holding on to hope. She says, of course, you know, any information would be great, but if the worst is confirmed, there's no more hope that she's going to be found alive. Now I can say that is the one thing that this family has really been holding on to this entire time. And Dawn, they do these searches. Mm -hmm. You know, Putnam County Sheriff's Office has told us before they, they do these random searches whenever they get a tip. They're going to go out, they're going to search whenever they want to, wherever it's going to be possible. This is the first in a while, though. This is the first in a while, and it's also one of the first times that we've heard Haley's family has been asked to come into the Putnam County Sheriff's Ronald, Office as well. Ronald, who is in jail. Already in jail, locked up in jail right now, unrelated drug charges. We're told he's going to mm -hmm. be brought from the jail mm -hmm. into a special investigative unit which is across the parking lot from the Putnam County Jail where he will be met with by Crystal Sheffield as well. So both of Haley's parents are going to be in this room. We don't know what's going to be discussed, of course, right, but right. again, one of the first times at least I've heard that the mm -hmm. family has been requested mm -hmm. by the Putnam County Sheriff's Office to come down when they do one of these searches. Well, when it comes to this tip, we've been trying to figure out where it came from. Right. When you talk with the family, did they know? They know where this tip mm -hmm. came from, Dawn. Uh, they don't want to release where it came from as of right now uh, mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. They don't want to mess with the actual investigation. But again, they know where this tip came from uh, and they've talked to the Putnam County Sheriff's Office about this particular tip. And obviously it's, it's warranted enough for the Sheriff's Office to do this massive search here in Satsuma and of course call the family in. Wow. Well, we're staying on top of this. And of course, as new information comes out, we'll be sure to bring it to you. The very latest today online, actionnewsjax.com and also on our news starting at 5. Thanks, Matt.